William H. Pierce. William H. Pierce died 1944, was an American civil engineer and metallurgist who pioneered copper production in the early 20th century. Among his achievements was the Pierce Smith converter, invented with Ilya's Anton Kaplan Smith. Life. He joined the Baltimore Copper Smelting and Rolling Company in 1890, becoming vice president in 1895, and later president of the company. Under his management, the company became one of the major copper producer of the United States. In 1928, the company merged with five other copper companies to create the Revere Copper Company. Described as one of the foremost metallurgists of his time, Pierce became the vice president, director, and a member of the executive committee of Revere. Invention of the Pierce Smith Converter The Pierce Smith Converter, developed in 1908 with Ilias Anton Kaplan Smith, significantly improved the converting of copper mat. Before this invention, the converter was a cylindrical barrel, lined with an acid refractory lining, made of sand and clay. It was developed by two French engineers, Pierre Mance and Paul David from 1880 to 1884. Their copper converting process, named the Mance-David process, was directly derived from the Bessemer process. In this horizontal chemical reactor, where air was injected into copper mat, a molten sulfide material containing iron, sulfur, and copper to become molten blister, an alloy containing 99% copper. But the basic slag produced during the blowing combined with the acid silica refractory lining, thereby causing a very short lifetime of the lining. By developing a basic refractory material adapted to the matte refining process in magnesia bricks, Pierce and his engineer Smith found a way to drastically increase the lifetime of the lining. It has been stated that, in some cases, the process allowing an increase from 10 to 2,500 tons of copper produced without relining the converters. A reduction of the cost of copper converting from 1520 USD to 45 USD has been stated. The Pierce Smith converter quickly replaced the Mance David converter. By March 1912, the Pierce Smith Converting Co. claimed that over 80% of the copper produced in the U.S. is being converted either in PS type converters or on basic lining under license in the old acid shells. It is still in use today, although the process has been significantly improved since then. In 2010, with 250 converters working in the world, the Pierce Smith converters refine 90% of the copper mat. Honors In 1931, Pierce, still president of the Baltimore Copper Smelting and Rolling Company, as well as being president of the Pierce Smith Converter Company, and Vice President of the American Smelting and Refining Company, is awarded of the James Douglas Medal for his numerous improvements in devices for smelting, refining, and rolling copper. Equals equals references equals equals equals.